What is up, y'all? Jack here. I hope everyone's having a fantastic week. It is a beautiful day here in Central Texas. I've got my drapes opened here in the office. I can see all out of the front yard, the Texas Hill Country. We had deer in the front this morning. So I hope y'all are enjoying the sunshine in this beautiful day wherever you are located. I got a really cool video for y'all. This is something I've been doing for about the last three and a half, four months. I happened onto it by total accident, researching some tutorials on how to make AI videos for myself. Then I got the brilliant idea of pitching this to my website customers. Guys, my head is always spinning. I'm always looking for new ways to make money. And so I ended up making a sample for a customer of mine who has a pallet training. It's like a whole online course on how to start and run a profitable pallet business. He absolutely freaking loved the sample. I sold it to him for 125 bucks. I've since then reduced my pricing for one-offs. I'm gonna show you guys all of my pricing plans. I've got three pricing plans. And then I'm gonna tell you guys my whole process for getting this thing going. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, so some quick math on some potential profit for you guys. This is based off what I've done so far. And then down here, this is based off some goals that I've set for myself in the next 90 to 100 days. So, so far I've done seven one-offs at 99 bucks. That's brought in a total of 693. This does not include the original solar sample that I sold for 125. Let's just set that aside. I've got three monthly recurring customers right now at 297. So that's 891 a month coming in recurring. So far I have not had any churn on that. Of course, I just started doing this a few months ago. So, you know, churn is always part of the business. So I, I do expect some of these customers to drop off. Maybe they come back on. Maybe it's gonna be a seasonal thing for some of them. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Then I've got six customers at my 175 level. This is this is by far the most popular level and the easiest sale that I've noticed. That's the this this is gonna be for two videos uh, monthly recurring. They can get them either at the beginning of the month or one in the beginning, one at the middle. And then I've got, uh, so that's a total of 693 plus 1941 a month. Okay, so my goals for the next 90 to 100 days is to get six customers at the 297 level, which should bring in about 782, and then 12 at the 175 level, which should bring in about 2100 for a total of 3882. So those are my goals. That's, that's what I've done so far, and then that is my goal for the next 90 to 100 days. Okay, so here is the process before we jump into how to actually do this thing. So guys, first we're gonna create a page to show our work. These are just a few samples that you guys can put up on a web page before you drive people to your plan page with your pricing and all that stuff. Then we're gonna create our products inside of high level and then attach them to a page. So basically here, we're gonna create the products inside the high level dashboard and then link them to our funnel checkout page that will have a one-step order form on it. Then we're gonna create a plan page with pricing. I've got a three pricing plan. I have a, a $99 one-off. So if you just want to buy one video at a time, it's, a, it's 99 bucks. Then I've got a plan that will sell them two videos a month and then one that will sell them four videos a month. And I haven't uh, thought about or gone anything past that. Uh, then we're going to use ChatGPT to write the script and to have it give us our image prompts that we're going to put into the AI generator. And then we're going to create the images and turn them into motion graphics. That's how it's going to become a video. We're going to put all that together in CapCut. Also, I left a couple things out of this list. So we're also going to use an AI voiceover tool. I'm going to walk you through uh, guys through all this stuff. And then we're also going to grab some background music from Epidemic Sound. You guys don't have to use Epidemic Sound. I use it because I just personally don't have time to sift through the entire internet looking for stuff that's not copyrighted. And then we're gonna promote those samples to our list. So guys, let's get into how to create a page and show our work. Let's jump over into the high-level dashboard right now. All right, guys, so here we are inside the high-level website builder. So I keep this page really, really simple. I just have one sample on here. If I were you guys, if you want, to, instead of populating this page with 10, 20 samples, I would put one or two really good samples on here and then link out to either like your Vimeo channel or YouTube channel. You can create a channel either for your agency or one that's got like your agency, you know, dash samples. You can create a whole new channel for that if you want to and just upload all of your video samples there 
or any kind of video content that you have and then you can link that out so folks can go look at everything you know all your sample work everything that you can do okay so i keep this really really simple again it's just a two column page it looks something like this i'll show you guys the live version here in a second but i just have a title over here you know a short description some bullet points on how they can use these ai videos and then what all they get when they make an order and then some sizing options here as well uh, to look at this thing like oh over here so if you want to upload a video there's some different ways you can do this you can either uh, here let me click on it yeah so you can either i have a hosted video which means that i've uploaded it straight to my go high level dashboard and then so you you would select host a video for that or if you select youtube you would just put the link down here literally the url to that video and then the same thing if you were to go to, uh go with like well i don't know anything about wistia but vimeo would be the same thing as youtube you would just copy and paste that url uh, right into there and then to look at this thing live it looks like this I'll play my video for you guys, or at least a little bit. For some reason, Loom will not record sound playing on my screen uh, while I'm doing a video. Uh, I, I can hear it, but you guys will not be able to hear it. But this is what the sample page looks like. Uh, the video, I play it, or I put it really nice and big like that. And then here's all my bullet points, and that's what it looks like live. And if you guys want to see a few seconds of the video, I'll go ahead and play it again. You will not be able to hear the music and the script and everything for some reason, but that's just how it works. So anyway, guys, that is what my my original sample AI video looked like. The one I sold for 125 to my customer that has the pallet training course. And then I immediately turned around and I created some samples for people in my niche. I blasted those out and that's how I got those customers. All right, guys, let's jump back over to the slides and let's see what we got next. All right, guys, the next thing that we're going to do is we're, we're going to create our products. And then we're going to attach them to a funnel page. This is how people are going to actually check out and purchase these AI video plans, whether it's a one off or it's a monthly recurring. So let's jump over into high level. And I'm going to show you guys how I do that. So this is the the end result right here. This is the checkout page. But before we go on and create this, we need to set up our products. So. Once you're in a high level over here on the left where all your menu links are, go ahead and click on payments. It's going to take you to your invoice page. I don't use invoices, guys. Everything I do is either a one off purchase, no invoicing, or it's a monthly recurring. If you do end up uh, using invoices, you'll see some stats here and things like that. But up here on the lot, uh, up here on the top right hand side, click on products, and this will take you to all the products that you guys have built out inside your dashboard. Now, if this is blank for y'all, not, not a big deal. It just means you haven't made any products yet. So in order to make a product, we're going to click on this blue button up in the top right called Create Product. I'm going to click on it and show you guys what a blank one looks like and some of the things that, I'm get, that I would fill out for this type of digital product. And then I'm also going to take you guys into one that I've already built out to show you, you know, kind of what it looks like. So click on this blue Create Product button in the top right. These are all the things that you can fill out for this product. A lot of things in here you guys will not need for this particular type of product. This is not an e-com store. We don't have multiple variants like sizes, colors, and all that kind of stuff. So you're just going to enter a product name. I've got three different product plans for this service. So in just a few minutes, I'm going to show you guys my pricing page. So I put in the product name. I don't put a description here, and the reason being is because when you go to the checkout page, that big description is gonna populate inside the credit card box. I think it makes it look junky. I just leave that blank. They already know what they're getting. They've already come from your product description page. So it's a little redundant to put that whole description in there again. So I just enter the product name. And then down here under product tax code category, I will select either like digital 
yeah, just type in digital up here and there will be some options. You guys can pick it's a couple different ones you can pick. You can pick others slash digital goods. You can also pick uh, digital goods slash artwork. I think there's even another one for like commercial digital delivery or something like that. Not a big deal. Just pick one of those ones that fits in. And then this is important, guys. So under here under prices, you got two options here, either one time or recurring. So again, I have three pricing levels. One is a one-off purchase if they just want to make one video purchase. And then I have a plan for if they want two monthly, that's a recurring. And then I have one for four monthly and that's a recurring. So on my first one, if it's a one time and you guys are charging hundred bucks or whatever, just type that price in there. There's not going to be any variance for like size or color. I know there's different video format sizes they can buy, but we're not putting that in here right now because you guys are going to have to get these folks on some kind of zoom call or something or phone call or just email to get a better understanding on what this video is going to be used for, where it's going to be posted, all that kind of stuff. And then you will get that information after the sale. All right. For SEO title, if you want to rank this page up on SEO, put in a title here and then you can put a description. An SEO Google description needs to be under 155 characters. So make sure you guys, you know, fall into those, those formats. All right, now let's take a look at my Ignite plan. So this is the one that I sell two videos monthly. It is a monthly recurring service. This is the title that I gave it. Uh, down here, I've got digital artwork as the product tax code. And you can see down here, I charge 175. This is a monthly recurring service, y'all. So I've like, again, again, like I said, I have one plan that's a one-off purchase. I got two plans that are monthly recurring. Down here, I put the SEO title and then a little Google description, not a big deal. Now, once you guys save this product, if your Stripe account is already connected to high level, then it will, it will communicate with Stripe and it will create this product for you in your Stripe account. Back in the day, you used to have to go to Stripe, set up the product or set up your membership. If it's a recurring thing, then come back to high level, connect them and all that. High level's gotten a lot smarter, guys. So all you have to do now is save that product and it will automatically create it in Stripe. Okay, so that is it for doing your products. If you're going to have three different plans like I do, you will create three different products. You can see mine, all mine right here, Ignite, Spark, and Blaze. Those are the names that I chose to give them or chose to give them. So now that we got those created, we have to create a small, really simple funnel checkout page with a one-step order form, some bullet points on what we're offering, and then we're going to connect these products to that page so people can check out. Very, very simple, guys. So go over here to sites. And then we're going to make a funnel. So let me show you what one of my funnels looks like. Yeah, here's one right here. I'm just going to pull up the live page real quick so you guys can see what it looks like. And this is it right here. Very, very simple page, y'all. So I just put my logo up top, a little bit of information about what they're getting even though they've already read all this on the product page. We already created a showcase page showing, you know, what all is involved in this, what it looks like, what they will get. Back to that product thing. If you guys were to fill out that big description that I said to leave blank, it's going to populate it right here. It'll take up like that much room. It's ridiculous. So I just don't put that description in. Right here is where I tell them what they're getting. This is for four custom AI videos per month. Fast turnaround, HD quality social media optimized. We can integrate your brand logo into the video if they want it. We do full script and voiceover. Uh, we offer priority support. I offer that for everybody anyway. And then the sizes that they can get are these sizes right here. That will fit into any social media, any short, any Instagram, any TikTok, whatever they want to do. If they want a long uh, uh, landscape video, if they're going to do more of a, a two, three minute thing, then you guys can make that in whatever size they want. Okay, so that is the page. Now, in order to build out this page is very, very simple. All I'm going to do is take you guys into this one, and I'm going to kind of recreate it at the bottom so you guys can get a really good understanding of how to do this. So pretend this is a brand new page starting from scratch. You're just going to make a full width column just like that. Guys, just pretend that I'm up at the top making a brand new page. I'm going to add, uh, yeah, just one column there. And then this is where I will put, you know, my logo. 
So we're just going to do something like this here. Whoa, look at that. That's not normal. That looks really weird. High levels always changing their format and everything that they do. It's kind of annoying sometimes, but it is what it is. All right, so pretend that's the top logo up here. That's all you guys are going to do. If you want to shorten all this down, just remove the padding. No big deal. Come in here, remove this padding. You can change the size of this logo. It's obviously way too big. So we'll bring it down a little bit. If you guys want to change the background color here, easily do that. Okay, and then right underneath that, we're going to make a two-column section. Actually, I don't want to do it like that. I want to do it more like this. All right, then I'm going to move that down below the title or down below the logo. Over here is where we're going to put a short headline. Right underneath that, you guys are going to put a sub headline. Right underneath that, you guys can put a bullet list. All right, so we got a bullet list. And then over here, guys, I would put a, let's see, what do we got up here? Just a little subtitle. So we'll put a subtitle, and then right under that, we're going to scroll down. This is where the magic happens. We're going to click on this one-step order form. All right, guys, so you can kind of see how this is looking now. See how I got this laid out? It's just like it is up at the top. If you guys have trust badges, I would always recommend putting in some kind of trust, ba uh, trust badge. It just psychologically just helps people, I don't know, kind of feel better. So put in a trust badge. I will put in, let's see, one more. And guys, you can rob these like off of Google Images or if you don't, if you want one that's completely unique, go to Canva and just type in some kind of trust badge. Ooh, that's the wrong one. And you guys will find all this, all these trust badges that y'all can use. Okay. And then if I want to change sizing, obviously that's not difficult. You know, I might move that to the left and call it a day. Okay. And this one over here, bring that one down just a little bit. So guys, so this is it. Same thing I've got up top. I just created on the bottom, took less than five minutes. That's how, uh, that's how easy and quickly you guys can do this. So now that I've got that done, let's uh, delete all this. And I'm going to show you guys how to add these to the actual page. All right, so let's head back over to this part of the page. You guys are going to click on settings up here at the top. Yeah, actually, you're going to click on, hold on, go back to steps over here, products. You're going to click on products. Hope you guys see this. All right, then here's where you're going to add your products. So I've already got my product here, but if I want to add a product to this page, pretending this is blank, we haven't added anything yet. You just click that. You guys are going to select one of the new products that you just created. So guys, it is that simple. All right, now that product is connected to this page. So if we go to this page, now it's all working. People can fill this out, name, phone number, email, all the information, put in their credit card number, click, click complete order, and then boom, you guys have either set up a new monthly recurring or if it's a one-off video, they have just purchased a one-off video. Ideally, guys, you're going to be doing this over Zoom. If this is a, a customer that you've already had for a while, you guys have built them a website, you've sold them services, this part may not be necessary. Just send them your Loom video, showing them what you're doing, send it to an email or text message, put the link in here to your plan page, and they will be able to check out on their own. And then you guys can square up on exactly what they want and need after the purchase has been made. All right, so now that your products have been created, they've been connected, you guys have uh, made your funnel checkout page, there's one last step on this part that is very, very, very important because you guys need to know exactly what these folks want. If you're sending them to this checkout page, you have to find out afterwards exactly what's gonna go in this video. You have to have some sort of uh, communication with them, some sort of conversation. It can be through email, it can be through DMs, better over a Zoom, but you guys have to get a full understanding of exactly what to do with this video. So I have a confirmation page. This page is, they get redirected to this page right after checkout. And what it does is it prompts them to book their call so we can get this whole uh, plan and strategy down for creating their video. So after they made their purchase, just says thanks. 
Then it says, book your AI strategy call so we can get started. And then I make it very clear. We cannot start until we have a call to understand your video needs. And then right here, I just have a quick button that takes them straight to my booking page and they can book a call. All right, guys. So that is it on creating the product, creating your order form, uh, redirecting them to a very important page afterwards so they can book their call. Now we are going to create our plan page with pricing. Now, guys, this is what my plan page looks like. Uh, actually, let me. Yeah, it's right here. So, again, I have three different plans. I have the Spark Plan, Ignite Plan, and the Blaze Plan. The Spark Plan is my one-off video creation service. This is only ninety-nine dollars, and then they get a. I've got all my bullet points here with what they get. They get one custom AI video, fast turnaround, HD quality, of course. Social media optimized, meaning once you have your call with them, they're going to tell you what they're going to be using this video for. So that means you're going to look up and see what size they need. So if this is a YouTube short, uh, you're going to do the nine by 16. If this is a uh, Facebook ad, you're probably going to do a one by one. Just depending on whatever they're using this for, you have to find out what size they want. And if they want it, if they want to make it and export it into two different sizes, well, unfortunately, guys, that is two different videos. So it is very, very important that you find out exactly what size they need. Sometimes they don't know what size they need. In fact, most of the time they have no clue what these size ratios are. So all you have to do is find out where and how they're going to use this video. And then that will give you everything that you need to know about sizing. All right, my Ignite plan is $175 a month. This gets them two videos, two custom AI videos per month. And then if they want four, we have a $297 a month Blaze plan. Guys, again, these are monthly recurring. So once they click on one of these, it's going to take them right to that funnel page that we just built. And this is what it looks like live. These are my trust badges, everything they're going to get here. It's a one-step order form. All they got to do is fill this out and then... Uh, put their credit card information in and then boom, you guys will get notified that you just got a brand new sign up for this service. All right. So that's, that's what my pricing plan looks like. If you want, if you guys want to see the actual pricing page and how it's structured inside the builder, I will pull that up for you guys real quick. Let all this stuff load. And then boom, I go in here. Now let me show you guys how really easy high level has now made it to create product uh, plans. So usually I used to have to build all these out individually. It was a real pain in the ass because if you had more information on this one or more information on that one, uh, it gets really weird and jumbled. You got to use a lot of spacing and margins and all that kind of stuff. So if you guys want to create something like this, literally just click on one of these, go to pre-built sections here, find your plan section, just drag that baby over. That is literally all you have to do. And then look at that. Boom. You've got a full pricing plan already made out for you. All you guys have to do is customize it by filling in all this information. If you want to change button colors, really simple to do, guys. Y'all know how to do that. All right. So that is it on creating the pricing plan and what my page looks like. I'll link this down below if you guys want to check it out again and get some inspiration to build your own page off of. And that is our pricing plan. Now, once we have published our funnels, all right, guys, so if it's my Blaze plan, you have to publish this, okay? Once you publish it, you'll get a URL like this. If you guys need to make a subdomain URL, which is what I do for these, you're just going to go into your domains click a uh, new domain and then just give it a name. So if this is your, this is my blaze plan, I would type blaze plan dot lead sickle, which is my main domain. If I can spell today and then just click connect, uh, continue. And it will prompt you to log into your provider. I use Cloudflare for all my domains. If you use Google or Namecheap or whatever, it will prompt you to log in there just to verify ownership. And then boom, you guys will have a brand new subdomain that you can link to those checkout pages. All right, and then once you've done that, all you have to do is go back into your plan page. Sorry if I'm moving a little fast, guys, but I think y'all are sharp enough to hang in there with me. I know you guys already know a lot about high level and how to build this stuff. 
So once I'm in here and to link these, just click the button, click website URL, plug in that URL right there, guys. That is it. Click publish, and now you've made it where they can go. Uh, click on these, and it will take them straight to those pricing pages. All right, so far, we have created a page to show all of our sample work. We have created the products inside of High Level. We made the funnel checkout page. We attached those products to the page with the one-step order form. We have created our plan page showing our three levels of pricing. And now this is where it gets fun. This is where the video starts to come together. We are going to use ChatGPT to help us write the script and provide the image prompts for the AI video generator. So let's hop on over to ChatGPT and we're going to start typing in our prompts. Guys, I've linked a document down below completely for free. You guys can get these exact image prompts that I'm using. Most of them are pretty short and easy to follow along with. The prompts for the AI images is a little bit lengthier. So you guys may want to download that document just so you can check that out. So the first thing that I'm going to do is type in the first prompt of my uh, on the document. I'm going to copy and paste it in there. And this is a generalized prompt, guys. So you guys will have to go in here and change the type of business and then the benefit of the business as well. So for this sample, let's just pretend this is a solar customer. I'm going to type in, I have a solar business. I want to make, I want you, yeah, I want to make a 60 second short video to educate my prospects on the benefits of, and then you got to put the benefit of the business or whatever the video is about. So in this one, I'm going to put going solar and the rest of it says, I want you to give me the top benefits for my service. And then what AI is going to do is it's going to go in there, scrape the internet and tell us what all the top benefits of going solar are. So once it's done with that, it'll probably give me seven to 10 uh, benefits there. Look, yeah, it looks like it gave me seven. Now we're going to go over here to our document and we're going to copy and paste the next prompt in there. Now this one says, great. Now I want you to make me a video outline for a 60 second video. The script needs to be right around 160 words. So y'all, in order to make a 60 second short, you need about 160 words. If it's anywhere from 155 to 165, that is that is still fine. So let's go ahead and give that a go. Let it do its thing. I'm going to already come over here and copy my next prompt because I know I'm going to need it. And once it is done with that, we will tell it to... Uh, now I want you to write me the script. I'm just going to say, looks good. Now I want you to write me the script. Now at this point, if something does not look good or you want to change something or take it out, just simply ask the AI to remove that one thing or add this, this, and this, and it will rewrite the outline and then it will add those items or take away whatever you told us to take away. So it's going to write the script. Now I already know that ChatGPT is not going to write it in the format that I wanted to write it in, which is totally fine. So once it gets done doing that, guys, you can put more of these prompts and everything condensed into, into one uh, prompt, but I find that ChatGPT works better if you separate your prompts and let it do one thing at a time and then go down the list. So now I'm going to ask it to write the script in one continuous paragraph. So it's going to do that for me. Once that is done, everything looks good. Now we need to find out how many words it is. I can already look at it and tell you that this is not even close to 160 words. So instead of asking the AI how many words this is, because it takes them way too long to count, I like to use wordcounter.net and I will just paste that in there. And then look, it only gave me 102 words. So we're going to go back here. I'm going to get my next prompt. And I'm going to say rewrite it and make it right at 160 words. The chances of them getting this right is probably slim to none. So you just have to keep working with the AI, keep telling it what you want. It only takes a few minutes. This is already looking a lot better. I don't want those quotation marks in there. Sometimes it gives them to you, sometimes it doesn't. So let's plug that in. And we're now at 152 words. That's still a little too short for me. So I'm going to ask it to add... 10 more words. I want it right around 160. So let it do its thing there. We're going to see where we're at. All right, let's take this. Let's plug it back into word counter. And we're at 156. 
That's fine. I'm going to go with one, with 156. So that is totally fine. All right, guys. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get the AI to give us our AI prompts. Now, for a 60-second video, I like to get about 15 prompts. And I'll show you guys why once we get to the AI generator. So I'm going to copy and paste my next prompt. Now, this one says, I will give you the script down below so that you can understand the context. You will provide me with 15 text prompts that I will use to generate pictures in Leonardo and Leonardo AI. That's our generator we're going to use. I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys uh, what that looks like and how to use it. And then it says, I want the pictures to be super vivid, colorful, 3D and hyper realistic, keeping in mind the theme of the script. That's very important. So the pictures have to literally match the script. All right, guys, I'm going to come right up here. I'm going to get my script, copy it, and I'm going to put it right there. And then I'm going to hit go. All right, now the AI is going to give us 15 different prompts that we can type into Leonardo AI to make unique, hyper-realistic images that we're going to use for our customers' video here. So here are all of our prompts. All right, guys, we're going to jump over into Leonardo now. And I'm going to show you guys the magic part on how to make these super cool AI generated images. All right, guys, here we are inside of Leonardo AI. This is the AI photo generator that I use and that I love this. Uh, you can get, you guys can get a free account. I think you can get a hundred image generations uh, for free, which is more than enough for you guys to generate some revenue, sell some of these videos to some of your website customers. Once you move past that 100, the upgraded version is only like 20 bucks, I think. So it's still really, really cheap. Now, uh, forewarning, guys, I did shoot this video earlier, this part of the video. Something happened. It didn't save. I can't find it. It's lost. So when I get into the image generator, you guys are probably going to already see some of the images that I generated for the future video that you're going to see at the end of this video. So anyway it doesn't matter i'm still going to walk you guys through the whole process so i just wanted to give you that heads up so it didn't look weird once you got once we got over to cap cut so you're going to click this image icon right here called image creation this is going to take you to the prompt box where you guys can type in your image prompts right here now these are the images that i generated earlier these are all from the prompts that we made together on the video inside of chat gpt Anyway, it doesn't matter. Sorry again, guys, for the hiccup, but I'm, I'm coming back. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this. So from the image prompts that we just got into ChatGPT, you're just going to copy the first one and you're going to paste it right up here. Now, one thing that I started doing a couple of weeks ago, and I really do think it makes a difference. If you guys care to do it, do it. If, if you don't think it matters, don't do it. But after every image prompt, I type in hyper-realistic at the end. I've tested it with it and without it, and I really do think it makes a difference to put in hyper-realistic at the end. Then you're going to click generate, all right? Then it's going to start to generate. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to use any of my credits. I've already done all the image generations for this video. Then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to get the next one. I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to click generate. You don't have to wait for the image to, to finish generating before you put the next prompt in and click generate again. Just put your prompt in, click generate, put the next prompt in, click generate, so on and so forth until you've done all 15 prompts. And then just you can walk away from your computer for a minute or two, come back, and they will all be populated inside your image library. Okay, so now that the images have been created, these are the images that they just gave us. These are super cool, super high quality. I think if you guys have a solar customer, they are going to absolutely freaking love this. So let's check out what it gave us at the very beginning. And boom, look at that. So we're going to turn all of these into motion graphics. These are really cool, really high quality images. Aerial views. We got solar panels on our roofs. We got families having a good time, smiling. We have got the earth sitting in the freaking jungle. I mean, you cannot get any cooler uh, images than this right here. All right, so now we're going to go. Oh, by the way, one thing, one weird thing that the, the AI will do sometimes is they will call an image explicit, even though it is not. I've never seen an actual explicit image being generated from here, but if you click on it, it'll show it to you. I don't know what triggers their algorithm to make it think that some of these images are explicit, but I have never had it generate anything explicit for me. So if you get that uh, on there, just click it and it will show you the image. Again, I've never seen one get explicit at all. So now 
don't forget, we had four images that we generated at a time, which means that these first four images are all the same prompt. If you hover over the images, you can read the prompt right down there at the bottom so you kind of know where you're at. This one says a family standing in front of their home. All right, the next prompt says a hyper-realistic view. So that's how you know all of these four images are in the same prompt. What I usually like to do for a 60 second short is I try to get two images uh, per prompt. Sometimes I'll download three uh, just in case I need to pack any more images in, in there with filler because you want your image to change about every two and a half, three seconds. I would say, I would say three seconds at the, at the most, two and a half seconds at the minimum, but you want your images to change through the video about every two and a half to three seconds. So what I'll do is I'll go in here and I'll find the two or the best three that I like the most. I would probably pick one that shows like an entire family. And then I'll probably pick one that shows, you know, maybe the husband and the wife. And then that will be my first clip of the video will be those two images. So in order to turn these into motion graphics, all you do is click the video. You'll see this image to motion button right here. You guys are going to click that. And then you're going to turn this motion string down to three. I found that anything above three makes the video look weird. The motion's happening too fast. Three, I found, is the perfect sweet spot. So then I'm going to hit generate, and I'm going to hit close, and I'm going to get out of that one, and I'm going to go find my next one. So maybe on this one, I'll pick, uh, yeah, just the husband and the wife. I'm going to turn that to motion. Now, once you've done this setting once, it will usually save your motion string to three, but I always glance down there really, really quickly and just make sure because I have had it automatically toggle back to five. So you guys want to make sure you quickly glance down and make sure that that motion strength is set to three. All right. So that is my first prompt. Now the next four are going to be my next prompt. You can see they all have the same prompt. I'm going to find the ones that I think look the absolute best on this one. I feel like this one is better than the first one. So I'm going to generate this one. And then I kind of like, I kind of like this one here with the greenhouse. I'm going to check that, make sure that's three, generate. Guys, I'm going to speed this up. I'm going to go through this and uh, turn all these to motion graphics, and then I will come back, and then we will continue on with the rest of the video. All right, guys, here we are inside of CapCut. If y'all are not familiar with CapCut, it is a really easy and free video editing tool that you guys can download. You can get one for your mobile device, or you can run it on your Mac or your PC as well. So when I'm making things like... TikToks or Reels, I can do that on my iPhone. And if I'm making uh, other types of videos like this, I will do that on my computer. So get, get CapCut. Uh, if there's anything that you guys need to know how to do outside of this video, because I'm not going to go into much. This is going to be a really simple edit. But there is just like an infinite amount of YouTube videos that you guys can check out to do anything and everything inside of CapCut. My, I don't make videos with a lot of like whiz bang, you know, you know, flashy, crazy edits and all that kind of stuff. I don't do that. My, my videos are designed to get you guys from point A to point B so you guys can make money. Okay, so once we're inside of here, we're going to drag over. Uh, first thing is our script, our AI script that we downloaded. And we're going to put that in here. Now I'm going to click uh, Command Plus to, uh, to zoom in a little bit. And then what I want to do is I want to zoom in enough to where I can see all of these little gaps, uh, the large gaps inside of this audio right here. And so these small gaps are fine, but we, what we want to do is go in here. You want to click this, uh, click the audio where it's highlighted like that. Put this yellow bar exactly where you want it. And then on a Mac, I'm going to hit command B as in Bravo. And then I'm going to take it down to where the next part I want to cut, and I'm going to hit Command B again. All right, and then I'm going to highlight that and delete it. And then we're going to scoot this over so it's right there butted up next to uh, that previous audio clip. Uh, oh, real quick, guys, before we get too much further, let's go ahead and back out a little bit. I'm going to select this clip, and up here at the top where it says Volume, I'm going to go ahead and change that to 8. All right, so before we start cutting up all these clips, uh, it's just a little bit easier to do it while this is already one long clip. So I'm going to highlight this next one, and I'm going to make it A. This just increases the volume a little bit, because before we export this video, 
we're going to add some background music. And so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. That's going to be the last thing that we do. But we want to make sure that the audio of the person's voice is uh, loud enough. So, all right, so we got that one. We got that one. We got that one. I'm going to uh, speed up through this process on the video so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me make these edits. All right, guys, now we've gotten all the pauses out of our audio. Let's zoom in a little bit and I'll show you guys how it looks now. So as you can see, all those big pauses and breaks are now gone. And I'll play the video for you all so you can just kind of hear what it looks like or what it sounds like. Over time, solar energy is clean and renewable, which means you'll be reducing carbon emissions and contributing to a healthier, greener planet. Plus, with solar... Boom. So you can see when he ends the sentence, he immediately starts a new one, removing all of those gaps. Okay, so now that our audio or at least the script part is done, we're now gonna drag over all of our motion video clips. So if you guys got those handy and you're following along, you can drag them over. If not, just come back, rewatch this video, and you will have it down before no time. So whenever you bring something in, this I forget what this thing is called. I think it's called the playhead. It's automatically gonna put the, uh, whatever you drag over, it's automatically gonna put it right there. So if you wanna avoid having to move it, just. Push that playhead all the way over to the far left, and then everything will end up popping there. I actually want these video clips, though, uh, down here. This is where you want those. And then I don't know why it's... Uh, I think I accidentally imported the audio again. Okay, so so as you can see, the, the, the clips are much longer than the audio, so there's a few things that we can do here. You can either remove clips. I always like to have more clips than I need. You've already downloaded them. You might as well already uh, take them and put them in here. And what I do now to make all this fit is I'll start playing. I'll compress them. I will play the audio. I'll see what's happening uh, with the clips. I will condense the clip. I'll do all kinds of stuff to manipulate them to make everything fit. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. And Well, actually, the first thing we're going to do is let's zoom back out. I'm going to grab all these clips. I'm just going to click and highlight. And you see, guys, where this little, where, where, when you hover over it, it turns that little arrow. Now I'm going to take and just move it over to the left a little bit, let it go, and it's going to kind of snap into place there. All right. And I'm just going to move that down something, yeah, something kind of like that. And we'll kind of start here. Now, if these play through too fast, we'll want, we'll want to take some, some of them out. But let's just see where we're at. Are you ready to save money and make a positive impact on the planet? Switching to solar can help you cut or even eliminate your electricity bills. Saving. So it's moving through a little quickly than what I would like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of remove some of these that may not yeah so see how these are both kind of the same uh image let's just go ahead and take let's see which one i like yeah let's, let's go ahead and take that one out and then i mean these are kind of the same too i could potentially take one of those out or one of these out we probably don't need well hold on, let's see let, that's two i'm gonna take I'm gonna take this one out. We're just gonna kind of work our way down. Probably don't need two kids in the same. You know, I really don't even look good having children standing next to these batteries. It's kind of a bad look. So I think I'm gonna, <laughs> I think I'm gonna take them both out. Yeah. So let's take that out. We'll just keep moving down. Look. Oh, look where we're at. We're already, we're already in a good spot. So let's take all these. And let's uh, expand them back out just a little bit. This thing's a little finicky in the way it, the way it moves. That's pretty good. That's not too bad. All right, let's 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 see where we're at with Are this. Are you ready to save money and make a positive impact on the planet? Switching to solar can help you cut or even eliminate your electricity bills, saving thousands of dollars over time. Solar energy is clean and renewable, which means you'll be reducing carbon emissions and contributing to a healthier, greener planet. Plus, with solar, you're gaining energy independence. Switch to solar today and experience the incredible difference for yourself. Okay, boom. I like it. So... Probably just going to remove 
Yeah, that's not the prettiest picture. Let's just take that one out. Now, look, we're pretty, pretty freaking close to the end. Probably actually close enough to where... Are you ready to save money and make a pop? Anything. All right, so now the next thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to generate our captions. So if y'all click up here on text, and then... Uh, Let's see, where is it at? Auto captions, and then click generate. If you're on the pro account, you can click this identify filler words, and then you can also do the auto highlight. If you're not on pro, guys, you don't get to do those items, but again, it's not necessary. So go ahead and click generate. It's gonna automatically generate our captions. You always wanna have captions on a video, especially this type of video. Okay, boom, so here are our captions. They're just gonna, do the filler words really quickly. Okay, cool. So now we got captions, but you see how they're all, uh, it's way too big for the screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. I'm gonna click on this caption and I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to bring that way down. All right, now how I like to position captions, y'all, is I like to come to find the middle and then I come down just below the middle like that. And I'll probably make it about that big. Now, this caption is not the best looking. So I'm going to come over here to text. And then I'm going to click uh, template. And then I'm going to pick a template that is going to look good with this video. So let's see what this looks like. Ready to save money and make a positive impact on the planet? Switching to solar can... I mean, that already looks pretty good, honestly. I'm just going to reduce this, make it a little bit smaller in there. Even eliminate your electric. And then I'm just going to drag this over and kind of watch the captions because sometimes they'll jump out of the frame or they'll get too far. Yeah, see like that one right there. So you want to click that and you'll just want to adjust that a little bit and then keep going. It usually will adjust them for all for you, but every now and then it will miss one. So I will just scroll through, scroll through, scroll through. All right, that looks pretty good. So check it out. So now we got Ready to save money and captions. make a positive impact on the planet? Switching to solar can help you cut or even a... All right, guys. So now we're going to add a couple of finishing touches before we do our music. So what I'm going to do is come up here to effects. And let's see, I'm going to look for, I like this one effect called, uh, yeah, there it is, vignette. That's going to load up. All right, I'm going to drag my playhead over here, and I'm going to put, I'm going to add the vignette. I'm going to scroll out a little bit. I'm going to take this thing, and I'm going to drag it all the way across the video. That way it'll show across the entire video. All right, then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put transitions in here. So I'm going to I'm going to zoom in a little bit. All right, I'm going to put the playhead right in between the first and the second clip right there. I'm going to come up here to transitions. And let's see. I'm going to select overlay and then I'm going to select I'm going to find the one called mix. Yeah, it's right here. I like this one. Click OK, and then over here I'm going to hit Apply to All, and then look, it put the transition, y'all, in between every single clip. So now I got it all the clips, so now if we play it, and you see that nice little kind of vignette that comes down from the edges and the tops of each clip now. Are you ready to save money and make a positive impact on the planet? Switching to solar can help you cut or even eliminate your electricity bills, saving thousands of dollars over time. So valuable long-term benefits start saving money reduce your carbon footprint and enjoy the peace of mind that comes with a more sustainable energy choice don't wait make the switch to solar today and experience the incredible difference for yourself are you ready all right so that looks pretty good the last thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to zoom in go to the very end and I'm going to bring this down to where it ends with the audio. I'm going to bring this one down. We're just going to line everything up. Boom. Everything is lined up now. You can zoom back out. All right, guys. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add some background music in here. That is going to make the whole video pop. It's going to give it that flair, that commercial, professional feel. So let's jump on over to my favorite sound website, Epidemic Sound, and let's get some music for this thing.
All right, guys, this is Epidemic Sound. It is about $17.99 a month. If you guys want to pay monthly, there's an annual plan. It'll take it down to about 10 bucks a month. Now, you guys don't have to do this. You can find royalty-free music on YouTube and other places. I personally do not have the time or the bandwidth to search places like that to try to find something that's going to work. So I use e e uh, Epidemic Sound. So basically, we're going to come over here to Epidemic Sound. Up here in the top, you can type in certain keywords depending on what kind of track you're looking for. So if you want like, I don't know, let's just say you type in something like happy. You can see what they sound like here. It's probably not going to work for this. We could go with that one. Uh, in fact, let's do that. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. And then I will meet you guys back in CapCut. All right, guys, here we are back in the CapCut. Now, all I'm going to do now is drag my new Happy Days music right over here. I'm going to We're going to put it underneath our script or our voiceover. We're going to bring it over there. And then I'm going to command minus and back out a little bit. I'm going to take this sound, drag it all the way over. We're going to line it up with everything else. And then I'm going to take the sound and I'm going to lower it a little bit. I already know it's probably going to be too loud. And let's play it. Let's check out what it sounds like. Are you ready to save money and make a positive impact on the planet? Okay, so you know what? I want the music to start right at the very beginning. So let's come down here. I'm going to find... I'll uh, we'll put it about right there. I'm going to hit Command Bravo. It's going to delete that. I'm going to move that or delete that part and then move this over. All right, now let's try it again. Are you ready to save money and make a positive impact on the planet? Switching to solar can help you cut. Okay, music's a little bit too loud, so let's uh, put the arrow right here. I'm going to drag that down a little bit. Maybe like right there. Are you ready to save money and make a positive impact on the planet? Switching to solar can help you cut or even eliminate your electricity bills, saving thousands of dollars over time. Solar energy is clean and renewable. Which so that's it, guys. That is the entire video. Now to export this thing, we're just going to click this kind of turquoise teal uh, blue export button in the top. We're going to give this thing a name. So let's just call it, uh, you know, Solar Client AI Video sample and then here is where you can select where you want to put that uh i cannot remember where i put this thing earlier i'm just going to put it right here in this open big big open folder hit export this thing i've never seen a, a video tool export as fast as cap cut it's a lot faster than final cut pro so it'll just take a couple seconds and it will ex uh, export this thing in 4K resolution. The entire duration ended up being 52 Are you seconds. Ready to save money and make there it is exported right there. Now we can go pull this guy up and check it out. There it is right there. I'm going to drag it over here. And let's check it out nice and big. Are you ready to save money and make a positive impact on the planet? Switching to solar can help you cut or even eliminate your electricity bills, saving thousands of dollars over time. Solar energy is clean and renewable, which means you'll be reducing carbon emissions and contributing to a healthier, greener planet. Plus, with solar, you're gaining energy independence. No more reliance on rising utility costs, and you'll have the power to produce your own energy. The best part? Going solar is more affordable than ever with government incentives and tax credits, making it a smart investment for your wallet and the environment. And let's not forget, installing solar can even boost the value of your home, adding valuable long-term benefits. Start saving money, reduce your carbon footprint, and enjoy the peace of mind that comes with a more sustainable energy choice. Don't wait. Make the switch to solar today and experience the incredible difference for yourself. Well, it looks like my audio, or my background music cut off at the end there, so I'll have to go back into CapCut and see uh, exactly what happened there. Oh, yeah, look. Look what I did. So I brought it a little too far. I think Actually, I think that's when I trimmed up that front part. I forgot to extend it back out, so no big deal. Guys, this is why you don't delete anything or completely close CapCut out until you're done exporting. So I will just re-export that, 
and I will have a full good video. Guys, that is everything on how to make a AI generated video for your customers. You can sell these things for a hundred bucks. I sold that one solar uh, video for 125 bucks. You can create yourself a monthly recurring service plan for your website clients. Guys, I hope you love that video. I hope y'all crush it. I hope y'all make some AI samples, send them out to your customers. Whoops. And make you guys some money. I'll see y'all in the next video.